Okay, so now we're going to do something a little bit extra, just so we've got some videos related to it. We didn't actually have homework questions over this, but they are, this is material that could show up on the test. So I'm going to give a couple of sample problems. Uh, this one deals with expansion, linear expansion, uh, due to uh, change in temperature. So we talked about that in class. That was the one where we looked at the railroad track and we saw the warping and bending that can happen to railroad tracks because of the heat change in the day. Speaking of which, there's a train going by. Now, uh, this problem is actually number 19 from the review. I figured I'd just go ahead and work that out, and I'll probably try and do number 20 as well so that we see that. I'm tiling a garden patio. I'm dealing with little tiles that are 10 cm by 10 cm. So these are pretty small ones. Uh, we saw that the larger things that we dealt with, kind of the more effect we had. But we know that things can get very bad if we don't leave the space needed for these to expand. Now, I provide you with alpha the coefficient of linear expansion, and that's 8 times 10 to the negative sixth, 1 over Kelvin or 1 over Celsius, right? So this is the same thing as saying 8 times 10 to the negative sixth, and it's 1 over Kelvin as our units. I also tell you that our temperature could change anywhere from negative 20 C all the way up to probably a positive 40 C maybe even more if you take into account how hot or cold the tile itself can get compared to the surrounding air. Uh, say, especially with the warm end of that, a lot of times the tile will end up a lot warmer than the air actually gets. But this is a good enough value. So that's a rough idea of what could happen throughout the course of a year. This gives us a total delta T of about 60 degrees or 60 Kelvin. We'll go ahead and use it in Kelvin. Now I leave it to you all to go through and give that a try. You could convert these to Kelvin. This would be what, 253, and this would be what, 313, I think, something like that. And then you do the difference between the two. You'll find that it still comes up to the same. It's about positive 60 is gonna be our temperature change. Okay, and so that way we've kind of got it covered for the full range of of different temperatures we could be dealing with. All right, so we've got our alpha, we've got our delta T. Our equation looks like this, delta L. Our change in length equals alpha times our original length times delta T, okay? So now when I put these things in, I'm gonna do alpha, which is eight times 10 to the negative sixth, one over Kelvin, all right? times our length, well the length of one of our tiles is 10 centimeters, but, oh, I'm sorry, I may have the wrong units on that. No, no, that's fine. I'm thinking of the next one. That's fine. So our length, uh, we could put in 10 centimeters, but just to be safe, let's go ahead and find it in meters, 0 0.1 meters. That way we'll get meters out. Never hurts to do things in the standard units as long as you keep track of them. And then delta T is gonna be 60 Kelvin. We'll see that the one over Kelvin, the Kelvins cancel out and we're left with some change in length in meters. Well, that's good. And so when I actually evaluate this, my delta L comes up to a very tiny amount. It's 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth meters, or this equates to about half of a tenth of a millimeter. So it turns out as long as we've got a little bit of space in there, we're good. But we don't want to put them right up next to each other. We saw what a disaster that could be with the train, with the train tracks. And so that's one of the upsides. Keep track of what unit you put in, meters, because that's what you get out, and that way you'll be able to find what you want. Um, so that's our delta L. That gives us an idea of how much it will change, so what type of space we'd need to leave. And so if it went through and it warmed up 60 degrees, maybe I put it down outside when it's negative 20, which I wouldn't recommend, and then it went all the way up to 40, then I would have um, the sides would be 10 point, uh, what's that gonna be? Zero, zero, is there another zero in there? Five, something like that. That's millimeter, yeah, there, cm. So it's going to go up by a very tiny amount, but as we saw with the railroad tracks, when you're looking at a kilometer of railroad track, even two inches makes a big difference when it comes to these materials. So 
something for us to keep track of. That's how much space we'd want to leave in there. 